Hi guys, welcome. Uh, in this video, I would like to show you how you can implement CART in React. So um, here we have a very simple list of products and we have a button with label add to cart. And I want to um, click on this button and add some products to the cart so I can display the cart here and I can also display the count of all items uh, in the navigation panel. And of course, we can accomplish this um, using various methods. We can just uh, connect the component to the API, send the product there and handle the cart on the backend. Uh, we can also use Redux or any other state management uh, library. But today I would, uh, I would like to show you how you can implement very easy cart, a uh, very simple cart uh, using use reducer and context API. So the features that are built in into the React. So um, today I will be coding using code sandbox. You have a link to the very same code sandbox.io in the description to this video. So if you would like to play on your own with with this code, uh, feel free. Uh, also, if you have some questions, um, just let me know into uh, in the comment section. Uh, feel free also to uh, give um, some feedback about this video or propose uh, some subjects for future videos on this channel. So um, first of all, we will implement um, the component that would be uh, having a logic for uh, context API and having the use reducer um, that we can use um, to write the logic for cart. So first, of course, I'm gonna import React. Then I will um, import uh, use reducer. This would be the function that we will need to do the reducer use context because we want to share um, our state and our reducer actions across whole application. So um, we need also a context API here and create context. Uh, which is function that lets us create context um, and we are uh, importing all from uh, react uh, first we will create um, context for storing the state of our cart so it, the state of the cart would be really simple it would be just an array uh, and each element of the array would be a product that is inside the cart so we'll call it cart state um, context context and of course we're gonna um, create it with uh, this accounts with this function here I will enlarge it a bit for you um, then we're gonna need another context um, and the second context would be holding not the state of the card uh, but actually just a dispatch function so it's a special function that lets us fire the action uh, in the reducer in the minute I will explain it a bit more uh, but for now we will just card uh, dispatch context and of course we will create context so uh, we have two context apis um, now maybe um, we can export just some functions so we can use them um, outside this file so i will maybe write um, export um, so it would be use card and uh, this export would basically have access to the context so it would be a function uh, use context and here we will use cart state context so it would be um, the variable which will hold the state of our cart and then we would have um, use dispatch uh, cart this would be a function that returns um, context for cart dispatch context so we have these two exports and now i think uh, we'll export cart provider so basically we can wrap our whole application into it so we have access to the context api so we'll call it cart provider provider 
and this would be a react component we need just one prop children and here we will uh, return um, and first it would be card um, dispatch context card dispatch context uh, provider and the value that we want to have is dispatch oh here's of course const uh, and here we need uh, internal state so it's gonna be uh, state uh, dispatch and here we would have our reducer so um, the function use reducer um, takes um, one parameter which would be obviously reducer and then the default value that this reducer has and of course we can do the reducer here and reducer basically it's a function that takes state action and based on that we can transform uh, the state of the reducer into new form in the minute you will understand what we are doing here but first we need some boilerplate so we need to check the type of the action and depending on that we need to return the new um, state of our reducer of course when there is uh, no action detected we can throw a new error uh, unknown action uh, maybe let's do it that way with the literals unknown action action type and uh, yeah and here in the minute we'll add some um, some actions to our reducer right now it would be just a regular reducer that takes state and do nothing uh, basically because we are uh, not handling any action type inside the switch um, and yeah, so we have the use reducer here. Um, we have the first uh, context provider and we are exposing um, dispatch value to it. And secondly, we can do um, card state context provider uh, value that we want to expose is state. So it would be the current state of our um, context API um, provider so and here finally we can place this uh, prop here so why we did this so we have the card provider um, component that now we can uh, use uh, to wrap our whole application because when you have a context api um, you can have access to these values in all components that are a child to this uh, to this component so basically if we have a reducer and we and if we have a state and we want to have access to it then we have to have the provider on top of um, co component from which we want to access these values so right now we have a card provider and if I copy this to our um, to our root where we are um, basically rendering our whole app, I can now import card provider from components card um, and wrap whole application into it. and i will pass it as a children so now basically we have this card provider and inside we have app controller so app goes here 
uh, and we have these two providers on top so right now everything which is uh, in the app controller uh, in the app component will have access to the context api so we can um, check it really fast uh, just by um, checking what's inside our state because the use reducer takes um, a default value which is uh, empty array so if we go to the header component we can um, import use card from card and items use card this should return our current state because we have a provider with the value like that and we expose it, it using use context card state context we have use card here and if we type here items and size of this array you can see that actually it's zero so um, our context API uh, works in that way that right now every um, component um, that is wrapped into the card provider so in this particular example whole application has access to the values that we have in these two contexts so first context is use card and second context um, exposes our dispatch function which we will be uh, which we can use in order to dispatch a new action into the reducer so right now uh, we will use um, this dispatch to add something into the our uh, into our card but first of all we're gonna need of course to implement uh, this uh, action inside our reducer so uh, in case action type is um, add we want to add a new item to our card so basically what we want to do is uh, return the current um, state uh, so this is an array so we are uh, destructuring it and we are taking all elements into this new array and we will add a new item here so uh, as you can see the action uh, can have a type which is add and also we have another attribute which is item so uh, in this uh, in this attribute uh, called item uh, we will um, put a product that we want to add to to, to the cart so um, this is really important to not mutate the state so we cannot write um, state uh, push um, and something because then we are actually uh, changing um, the very same array um, and reducer should work in the way that it always change uh, it always returns um, a completely uh, new object, new array or new variable. So we cannot mutate the state um, of, of, of this current state. So that's why we have to return a completely new array. And yeah, so now I will um, save it. And here, um, as you can see, um, the on the root path here is just a very simple implementation of react router here on the root path we have a component called store and here we have just an array of uh, some dummy uh, products and we are listing these products and for listing the product uh, the product component is responsible so uh, in the folder called components we have product component and here we have an on click um, event handler and we want to use this event handler to add to cart product so we need to create a function that will pass the product and add it so it will be add to cart item and we have a function over here let's do the console log to check what happens so we have a console 
And as you can see, whenever I click, the, the product is passed to this function. So now we have somehow get access to our dispatch. So again, all we have to do is import um, the um, exported variable, which is uh, use dispatch card, uh, which is a hook that um, has access to our context API. So um, we can just import use, um, I will copy it, use dispatch card. You can copy it uh, from um, card component and inside our component we just can write dispatch and use dispatch card and this will uh, allows us to fire and action to our reducer. So we'll uh, dispatch action uh, so it would be um, object and first attribute is type so of course we want to dispatch action with type add and we also need to pass the item there so if i copy it uh, here um, then you see that action type is add and another attribute i'm passing is item and this happens if somebody clicks on the button add to cart and now you can see that the number increases so our use reducer actually is called then it checks that action is type it returns new state which basically means that we no longer have zero elements in this array but if we click then we have more items all right so now uh, i think it's time to go to our page card and also get access to all items there so um, we'll do the same as uh, in the previous component so of course we need to import use card because we have want to have the access to all items so it would be from components slash card and here we write uh, in this component items so items it's no longer an empty array it would be use card here we have a check if items length is zero then the card is empty otherwise we are going here and we have a loop that goes over each um, each item and renders the card uh, item so the handle remove uh, function is not yet implemented so i will uh, copy it i will add something to the card and as you can see we have uh, two items here i will add one more now we have three of course the total price is not working yet but we'll fix it in the moment uh, so we have the items we are iterating over them uh, items are coming from our context api and now we need to implement function which is called um, handle remove because we also want to um, remove something from our cart so we want not only to add something but also remove uh, so um, of course we will need here uh, use dispatch card because we want to dispatch from here as well um, some action so it would be uh, const dispatch use dispatch card um, and now uh, I will just implement function called handle remove it will take index so um, whenever something if something is first on the list the index would be zero and we will pass the index to our reducer so we know which um, item we want to remove so it's handled the remove here we're gonna dispatch type remove and index and of course this um action is not yet um it's not yet um implemented 
So if we pass it here, handle remove, and if we uh, save it, now we can add this to the cart, and we have unknown action because um, something is not implemented yet. So right now we need to implement this um, this function um, here. So it would be case remove and then uh, now we want to implement this and of course uh, removing stuff from the arrays is a bit more tricky than adding because as you remember we cannot mutate previous state we cannot um, just uh, drop this this element from the very same array we have to produce new array and i will do this in the way that i will call a new array here I will just take all elements um, from the new array, uh, from the previous state and assign it to, to new R um, variable. And here I can use new R splice and I can start from um, action index. So I'm starting from index and then uh, I'm providing uh, next delete count um, attribute um, parameter as one. So this means that it will remove uh, the index I'm provided and just one record. If I would provide here um, two, it, it, it would remove uh, two records, uh, including that index um, that are further. So it would be new array splice. And here we can return um, just new array and yeah we can um, save it and let's see if our card works and yeah it looks like uh, the removing from cart is working one last thing i want to implement uh, for you today um, is a total count of uh, all items that we have inside um, inside our cart. I think perfect um, option to do so is just to use reduce. Uh, so reduce will um, iterate over each um, over uh, each item that we have inside the cart and we will um, just sum up the price of each item so then we know the total price of the items that we have inside the cart so uh, we can call it a b um, and we will write just a plus uh, b price and and the next argument is zero so it's basically total here is total and so in the first uh, iteration, the total is zero and it just goes through each item and um, accumulates the total price. So um, total price is here. Here we have two local strings. So it basically um, format our um, integer, our number into something that uh, looks like a price, like a currency. So let's test it out. Uh, add to cart a bit more and yeah and you can see the total price is working um, the removing is working um, so yeah the context API is responsible for holding um, in our uh, case um, two things we have a current state plus we have a dispatch to our reducer everything is held in the reducer uh, that way we can add here more actions we can add remove values uh, and every 
component that is wrapped with the card provider has access to this context API. You have to be uh, careful with uh, such implementation because um, everything which is underneath the card provider and listens to the changes of um, the context API, then uh, such components would be uh, re-rendered each time uh, the value of context API changes. So if your components are very expensive to render, then you have to be cautious about that. So that's all for today. I hope you liked the video. Let me know uh, about your feedback in the comment section and have a nice day.